हेलो एवरीबडी वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो सीरीज लेक्चर ऑफ पी पी एस एंड दैट इज प्रोग्रामिंग फॉर प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग माई नेम इज जीनल झाला एंड आई एम योर इंस्ट्रक्टर ऑफ दिस सब्जेक्ट इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड अवर फोर्थ मॉड्यूल दैट इज एरे एंड स्ट्रिंग एंड टूडे इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर न्यू मॉड्यूल मॉड्यूल नंबर फाइव दैट इज यूज अर डिफाइन फंक्शन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव टू लर्न टॉपिक्स लाइक फर्स्ट टॉपिक इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू फंक्शन एंड डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ फंक्शन देन नेक्स्ट इज अ डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज ऑफ फंक्शन देन आफ्टर डिफरेंट पैरामीटर पासिंग मैथड देन डिफरेंट स्टोरेज क्लासेस एंड अवर लास्ट टॉपिक इज मैक्रो एंड प्री प्रोसेसिंग सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विथ वेरी फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज इंट्रोडक्शन एंड डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ फंक्शन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल Uh, we can make our program without using function also then what is the requirement for function uh, suppose i have a thousand line of code and i have write all the code in only one single function that is our mandatory function main function then sometime it become complex to find error and uh, find some logic other person can't understand very well because you have a write whole code in only one single function so in that case we can divide our program into different different modules so this different module is nothing but it is a function so the definition of function is like function is a self contained block of code that is used for a specific task how so suppose i want to make a program of scientific calculator so in scientific calculator we have a many different function like addition subtraction multiplication division square root then square cube right all type of functions so we can make a logic different different for all the function and we can combine this whole code into our main function and these functions are mainly divided into two categories first is a inbuilt function and second is a user defined function now what do you mean by inbuilt function inbuilt function means that are already available in our libraries predefined functions are known as inbuilt function suppose we take example like printf function so printf is a inbuilt function why because it is already defined in our studio library same way uh, we can use any type of string handling function which we have already seen in our previous module that is uh, str len function then str cpy str cat so that all are the functions inbuilt because already defined in string dot h header file so this type of functions are inbuilt function now what do you mean by user defined function user can create his or her own function that is called as a user defined function uh, that are not defined in any type of library and today in this video lecture we are going to talk about user defined function so let's see the benefits of user defined function first of all a large program we can divide into different different segment so we can easily maintain our code suppose you want to change in only particular one function then you can do it easily without modification in other function so we can easily maintain the code then uh, we can easily solve the error in program because uh, here our program is divided into different different modules and it is based on modular programming modular programming is nothing but the program divided into different different modules and one major advantage is uh, once you have defined one function then you can use this function in many other programs suppose printf is in build function but similar way we can create our own function and printf we can use in many different programs right so same way our function also we can use directly in many different programs so these all are the benefits of user defined function now let's see our next topic that is different elements of function now what do you mean by elements suppose you want to write the program using function then now our syntax will be changed how just remember the structure of c program 
in c program after mains uh, section one uh, another section is available that is sub program section and in this sub program section we can define our user defined function so now onwards we can write the code outside the main function also and how we can write so we have to learn uh, different elements so there are three different elements first is a function declaration and it is similar to the variable declaration then after next is a function definition our main logic we have to write in function definition and last is a function call if you want to use particular function then you have to call in main section so let's see one by one in detail our first element is function declaration so when you want to use variables in memory so first of all you have to declare that variables then after you can use it in a program so same way if you want to use your user defined function then first of all you have to declare the function a uh, main is our inbuilt function so uh, for main declaration is not mandatory but for our user defined function declaration is required and this declaration we can done in two ways one is a global declaration and second is a local declaration and uh, generally we are doing local declaration for function and how we can declare so just to see the syntax first we have to write return type and this return type is nothing but we have to write our data type uh, similar to our main function in main uh, we are writing void as a return type so same way we can write here void integer float double any of the data type as return type next is a function name means if i'm uh, writing a function for swapping of two numbers then i can write the function name as a swap if i am doing sum of two numbers then i am writing function name as a sum so you can uh, choose function name as per your choice and in small bracket we can write the parameters and it is optional part uh, without parameters also we can write our function and then after last we have to do semicolon so this is the syntax of our function declaration and when you have to simply print something in definition then parameters are not required so just to see the example of declaration how we can declare our function so our first function is void print line in bracket void so void means null when you don't want to return anything then compulsory you have to write return type as a void because void means null and when you want to return something then you can write integer float double any of the other data type instead of void so here void print length void and in bracket i am also writing void that that's mean no parameter you can also keep it blank the small bracket and just to see the below example here i am writing integer sum and in bracket two variables so here i am writing integer meaning when our function execute our final answer of sum will be also in the form of integer that's why i'm writing return type as a integer then if you want to do sum that's why i'm writing function name as a sum and in bracket i'm passing two parameters because i want to do sum of two numbers if you want to do sum of three numbers then you can pass three different parameters and these parameters are always declared with its data type and next part is a function definition so let's see function definition uh, this function is similar to our main function we can write similar to the main uh, just to see the syntax first you have to write return type then after function name in bracket if parameters are there then we have to write it and in curly bracket we can write our whole logic and in curly bracket first part is declaration part it is similar to our main function and second part is a executable part similar to main function and last is a return statement now what is return statement when we write return type as a void then return statement is not required but when you write any other data type instead of void then compulsory you have to return something that's why return statement is required and how we can write the function so just to see here in example 
void print line void is our one function and here in this function my logic is just only i want to print one statement that is my name is genal so this is function definition now let's see our last element that is function call now why function call is required so when our program execute only our main section will be execute any other code will not execute after we uh, after writing the main function so always user can define the function after the main function so how we can execute our function so we have to call our user defined function into main part and how we can call so just we have to write syntax is like write the function name and in small bracket parameters if available then we have to write if not then keep it blank and then after semicolon just like any other inbuilt function so here just to see the example first example is print line empty bracket why because here no parameters that's why second example is sum a comma b means here we are passing the value of two variables a and b and third example is sum 10 comma 20 means we can also pass directly constant value to our function so when this function call our control directly goes to the function definition and how whole program we can write using these three elements so let's see one example first part is include header file and then after we have to declare our function before the main so first write the function declaration that is void print line void here our return type is void because our function return nothing that's why and in bracket no parameters that's why i'm writing void or you can also keep it blank this bracket now next move to the main section so write void main function and always we have to write function call in our main section so i'm calling the function our function name is print line so i'm calling this function two times so how it will execute let's see first time when function called our control directly goes to the function definition now so a function definition is after the main section so you can see here void print line void and in that function i have defined only one printf statement that is welcome so when control goes to the definition one time welcome will print and again control goes to the main section now again move to the second statement second statement again i am writing function call so again go to the function definition and again welcome will execute so we can get the output two times welcome if you write function three times then three times uh, your function uh, will be called and our control goes to three time in our function definition and what you have write in definition the whole logic will execute three times so in this way we can say that we have to define only once and we can use it multiple times so this is also one advantage of user defined function hope guys you understand this lecture very well and in next video we will see different categories of function that the same program we can write four different ways with return type no return type with argument no argument so Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.